Hi, welcome to our week five quiz tutorial. Uh, let's see, the first question I asked you guys to do is to find the x and y intercepts and then graph the equation 2x minus 5y equals 20. Um, I gave you a hint. Remember, x and y intercepts are points. Sometimes you guys are really tempted to just give me numbers. Uh, but remember, they are points, which means that you should be answering as a coordinate, not just as a single number. Okay? Uh, so to find the x-intercept, the x-intercept happens when our line crosses the x-axis. The line crosses the x-axis when y is 0. So if y is 0, that means that 2x equals 20, which means x would be 10. So our x-intercept happens when x is 10 and y is 0. Our y-intercept happens when we cross the y-axis. So look, crossing the y-axis, that happens when our x is 0. So if our x is 0, we'll have negative 5y equals 20, which means that y would be negative 4. So our y-coordinate is negative 4, and our x-coordinate is 0. Okay. Uh, after that, it's actually pretty easy to graph because we already have two points. Our first point is our x-intercept, which happens at the point 10, 0. We have another point at the intercept, which is the point 0, negative 4. And after that, we can connect the dots and form a nice line. I like to use some sort of a straight edge to make it nice and pretty. There we go. And of course, lines keep going forever in both directions, so I'm going to add arrows. And that's number one. Okay. Question number two is all about slope. So I'm asking you to find the slope of each line. So in part A, we are in slope-intercept form. We have y equals 2 thirds x plus 5. In slope-intercept form, the coefficient next to the x, that 2 thirds, is your slope. Okay? And that's it. Uh, to find a line, a, the slope of the line parallel to the same line, the y equals 2 thirds x plus 5, well, parallel lines have the same slope. So if y equals 2 thirds x plus 5 has a slope of 2 thirds, then our parallel line also has a slope of 2 thirds. Okay. In part C, perpendicular lines have opposite reciprocal slopes. So opposite means instead of being a positive 2 thirds, we're going to have a negative slope. Uh, the reciprocal is the multiplicative inverse, which is an even bigger way of talking about it. Uh, but it's the number that multiplies to give you 1. Uh, but it just looks like you flip it around. Okay, so instead of 2 thirds, um, our slope is going to be negative 3 halves. Okay. Last one is asking you to find slope through a couple of points. Uh, so we have the point 3, 5 and the point negative 2, 4. So to find slope, remember that slope is change in y over change in x. It's rise over run. So the change in our y coordinates, uh, my y coordinates in, are 5 and 4, so the change in y would be 5 minus 4. Over change in x, my x coordinates are 3 and negative 2. And since I started with 5, which was in the first point, I've got to start with 3 so that it matches, okay? So I have to do 3 minus negative 2. You can certainly start with the other point. You could have done 4 minus 5 and negative 2 minus 3 as well. Okay, As long as you're consistent and you start with uh, the same point each time, we should be fine. Then it's just simple. So 5 minus 4 is 1. 3 minus a negative 2. So minus negative, same thing as plus a positive. So 3 plus 2 is 5. So we have a slope of 1 over 5 or 1 fifth. And that's it. Hope this helps everybody. Hope you guys have a wonderful week.